Come on, people, come on, people. Louder, 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 louder. As you bring on Finley Jacobs. Come on, Finley. The, um, the last thing my granddad ever said to me was, he said, Finn, it doesn't matter what you do, just remember, the more you put in, the more you'll get out. And it's, um, it's ever since then, I've actually had a pretty serious gambling problem. <laughs> uh, I cycled here this evening. I started cycling because they told me it would save me money. Uh, which is just absolute nonsense. Because what they don't tell you is you've got to buy a bike, a lock, a helmet, a high-vis, some lights, and because I live in South London, a new bike, a new lock, a new bike, a new lock, a new bike, and then a new lock. Uh, but cycling to work is actually pretty dangerous. It's pretty dangerous. That's why the only people who cycle to work are kind of like the sort of middle class people who can't afford a car but would rather risk being underneath a bus than on one. <laughs> uh, I, went, I went to my brother's last Friday. Uh, my brother, he's a bit of a character. He's, he's polyamorous. He has uh, 10 partners. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty intense. He invited me and the missus round to, to come and meet all of them. We, we, we had a great night. Uh, met all of them, interesting people. One of them is a marriage counsellor. <laughs> I don't quite understand how that works. I, uh, the only way I could reason that was maybe they're the recruiter for the group. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a dream. Hello? <laughs> Who's... No, this is not part of the act. <laughs> this is, I'm not fucking clue what that is. <laughs> Who was that guy? <laughs> Shit. That's so much more interesting than anything I've got to say. <laughs> I've peaked. I've peaked. Right, how do we get back into this? So yeah, the, the fuck, it's not that interesting now, is it? So, cheers, mate. So they're 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 a, they're a marriage counselor. I find I find that fascinating because like why why would you, as a, if you're a, a married couple, why would you go to a, a polyamorous person and ask them for marriage advice? You know that's kind of like asking the Pope where Mecca is. That's like that's that's not his thing. But um, anyways, we we I'm going to speed up now, so I'm going to skip that bit. We had a a lovely time. We had a, a truly truly lovely time, and then uh, we went to bed. My girlfriend got way too pissed. Uh, she was, I don't know, was sleeping in a spare room. She did that, that thing that, that white women do when they, they pass out and go like that. Look like a Renaissance painting, but they <laughs> sound like a rusty chainsaw. But um, I slept awfully. It wasn't because of uh, my girlfriend, though. It was because of my brother and the ten other people <laughs> having enthusiastic group sex <laughs> in the next room. Eleven people, that's an entire football team. <laughs> that's a hundred and ten fingers. <laughs> I know, how uncomfortable is that to imagine? But I tell you, it's not as uncomfortable as having to listen to a hundred and ten fingers be put to good work. <laughs> but it was, it was tricky because it landed me in a, in a very difficult situation, which was, how many people does my brother needs to be having sex with to make it not weird if I have a wank. <laughs> like, I need to know. <laughs> like, because if he's having sex with, with one woman and you hear a grunt, that's definitely him. I've been there, it's rough. But if he's having sex with 10 other people, five girls, five guys, there's an 80% chance that grunt wasn't him. <laughs> and I like those odds. <laughs> I'm a gambling man. I will take that any day of the week. But um, what else have I been doing? I've been trying to, trying to, trying to earn a bit of money. So I've, I've got a side hustle now. Uh, yeah, naturally, 
being middle class, my side hustle is visiting my grandparents. It's going all right, it's going all right, but... Uh... <laughs>